Yo, what's up guys? My name is Joel from Easy Engineering and welcome back to another video. Now, before this week's video, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to everyone that's supporting the channel and thank you very much for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. it it's, it's an amazing achievement to do within just over a year since I started the channel. So thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content that we are delivering. Got a lot of big plans for the future, so stay tuned stay on board and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button thank you very much for everything and if you want to obviously support the channel even more sign up to the patreon page where you can download all the instrument racks that i've done within my previous videos and any future videos going forward even in my live streams i'll be uploading some of the instrument racks from there so thank you again for the support and with that being said let's jump right into this week's video what's going on youtube my name is joel from easy engineering and welcome back to another video so today's video is all about a music theory hack in Ableton. This is something that you need to have in your arsenal of tools if you have no idea when it comes to musical theory. This is a great way of being able to create nice melodies while also making some incredible chord structures with any type of scale out there. And of course, I'm talking about Ableton's very own scale tool that you can use as a MIDI effect plugin. Now, just a bit on the scale, as you can see, over here, hundreds. Honestly, I don't know how many of that is, but I'm pretty sure it's close to about 50 different type of scales that you can choose. Read up on them if you want to, to learn a bit more about what the scale is, but then in that case, you're pretty much learning musical theory. So anyway, you have a lot of different scales to choose from. Obviously, one of the most common ones is your C minor harmonic or your C major. That is pretty much every kind of Western music type scale that you know in pop music you also have your melodic minor scale up and down you have minor pentatonic scale Phrygian is very cool it's a scale used in a lot of Cytron's tracks so it might be something for you to consider next time you want to use this plugin anyway obviously now he has the scale plugin when it's in your effects channel and as you can see there's different kind of things that you can do or change or add or subtract or whatever to it now i wouldn't want to get too much into this but this is pretty much the scale in itself so you can see semitone then i think it's a tone another semitone semitone tone semitone tone semitone semitone something like that but essentially that's that is exactly what it is now you have your bass note or your root note and this track is in a so obviously you got to set it to a and then you can transpose it up or down and it's still gonna kind of keep it within scale so this is kind of tra transposing your root note up one semitone two semitone three semitone four, four semitones so fold is a really interesting parameter and essentially if you have a, a scale and obviously you're kind of messing about within the MIDI channel and you're making a note too high and it just doesn't fit within the scale having it fold will kind of bring it down to its nearest make sense type note within that scale you have your range obviously c minus two is your lowest and it's very straightforward very simple not much you can really mess about with in there but essentially what it does is it helps keep everything in scale anyway what you could do is just put it on your track and let's just see if we can make a scale uh, or make a melody out of this just like the one I've just had let's see so we'll put it to eighth notes and let's loop all right time to mess about so let's just put this into perspective okay so we're in a C minor harmonic scale which means that your notes would go tone semitone if it's an A it's following all the whites so tone semitone tone tone semitone tone tone and there you go so i'm going to put it into a note that is not in the scale so obviously a black note okay now let me take out see so just Right, it just sounds off key, right? Because it is. Uh, but when you put it onto, when you turn back on your scale, it will push it to the 
relevant notes within the scale. So obviously the scale will probably be pushing these two notes maybe there, 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 or there, but it's basically putting it back into scale. And it's a great way if you're making melodies and you just don't know how the scales go, especially with all these crazy different scales. I mean, this called a Urkler Fokker. Genus scale, I mean, you, you know, you wouldn't know right off the bat what notes are included within that scale and how the scale progression goes. So obviously, you know, just to have it, you know, you, you're writing your melody like this and you kind of just can kind of go about, go about without thinking too much and just l listening more than thinking. And then you can be like, oh, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, knowing full well that you're in scale. Doesn't matter what note you put it on, you're still gonna be in scale.
Awesome. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's taken quite a while, but it's just about trial and error. And the cool thing is I have the confidence knowing that I'm always going to be in scale no matter where my things are. I mean, I know I'm in A minor, yet look, you can still see some on the black over here, some on the black over here. But the thing is, it's like to not limit the creative process, especially if you have no music knowledge behind you um, and it just kind of keeps things simple and it keeps things entertaining you know and less frustrating because like I said you know in scale and it's all gonna sound beautiful and melodic and good yeah um, but anyway that's it for the for the nice melody section of it I mean I might go in and start doing some chords but it's the same kind of practice you know you just kind of have to trial and error it and just place a chord obviously like that you know and then like that and then just trial and error, see where it goes. Make a nice chord, three, four, five, um, five notes. I would, I would, I would stick to three or five, maybe seven, because I know that's that's uh, harmonic, fifth harmonic, seventh, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then just kind of go from there, and then obviously, you know, just make a chord progression from like that to that to that, and then just see how does it sound? Does it sound good? Does it fit with the, the music that you're making? and so on and that's it it's a very straight up very secret music hack that you can go and create some incredible melodies with i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching i hope you found this tip useful and incitive please go ahead and make as much melodies as you can have fun with it and enjoy it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment down below if you want to see more if you have any suggestions please Leave a comment down there and I will get back to it. I promise you that. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Hit that bell button. See you in the next one.